Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. I don't know what's going on with my hair right there, but um, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's so nice out here today. Jeez, it's been lately really, really hot out here. So it's really nice. It's 7.14 p.m. on Thursday, June 8, 2023. And are you freaking kidding me? Every time I'm going to do a video, <sighs> Some things are happening. People are more in the yard every day now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the video. I decided I wanted to show up some ducks. And I wanted to do it. Um, why people hire a service to come and mow the yard at 7 o'clock at night. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I really don't. <sighs> just waiting to see if he's done because he's got the truck backed out here yeah he's getting ready to leave so he's done I'm like the yard looks mowed he just had a spot to finish so let's let him finish <sighs> before I tell you why I decided to do a video today hold on just a second okay he got it onto the ramp. He's locked it up. He's getting ready to leave. So, we're done with the noise, I think. But, I wanted to come out here and show off some decks. And I'm trying to think quick, because I think I've done all the tags out there lately. I don't know if I have or not. If I haven't, if you guys have any tags out there and you haven't seen me do it, let me know in the comments. But, I wanted to show off some decks, and I didn't know the best way to do that. I didn't even know what decks I wanted to show. <laughs> But, I decided to, and I might make it a tag. If you guys want to make it a tag, you can make it a tag. I don't care. Um, it's up to you. Um, but, I want to show decks that kind of got forgot about. Like, there was advertising everywhere. And then, when they came out, you may have seen it on one or two people's channel. And then, it was just never talked about again. Now, a couple of these are kind of exceptions to that. Because, I know one of them for sure randomly pops up here and there in other people's groups and sites and channels not too often but enough that probably shouldn't be in this but I wanted to do 10 and I had nine so <clears throat> uh, without further ado this is kind of like my forgotten decks or decks that were forgotten about I don't know um, most of them came out in the last year. I think only one of them came out maybe before this, the last year. Um, I'm going to actually look that up right now. It's a Hay House deck. And only one of these is an indie deck, which is weird. <laughs> uh, let me look at this. Hayhouse.com. Hayhouse.com. Yeah, it came out in 2021. So now we got kids walking down the street. Everything else here, I'm pretty sure, came out 2022. Um, well, the one of them, the, the one that kind of you can see more of than the others, I think it came out 2021 too. Anyway, in last year or two, these decks come out. So let's go ahead with the indie deck. And that is Double Rope Tarot. This deck is gorgeous. It is an indie. Um, it's got a metallic magnetic box. Look at that opening. Look at that. It's just stunning, stunning. This is a high quality deck. Gorgeous gorgeous love the little book it comes with there's a little map book gorgeous the edges <laughs> gorgeous the backs gorgeous and then it is a basically an rws deck that is just stunning now i have seen this deck on a few people's groups and sites and stuff i just never like it's not that often that it comes up but I'm like I saw it everywhere when it was first on Kickstarter and everywhere advertising 
and then nothing. I don't think I've ever even seen a walkthrough of this deck online. It is freaking stunning though. I mean, the images in this are stunning. Beautiful. Beautiful. And I feel like it's so stunning quality-wise that that's why I don't use it. Plus, it's more RWS than um, not. So if I want an RWS deck, I usually don't pull this one. I pull a different deck. Uh, but that is stunning, stunning cards. There's the tree guy leaving, or the yard guy leaving her house. But that is the first one. That is the an indie deck. Um, I think you can still get it on Etsy. I'll post it below if you can. It is a stunning deck. It's gorgeous. Next. This one just came out not that long ago. And I've seen one other person with this deck. <laughs> I'm like, why? I was chomping at the bit to get it. I actually pre-ordered it when I noticed it was a thing. Now there's a Lenormand to go with it. Um, there was also a Tarot, which I already have. It is the De La Nue Oracle. By Alexander V. Bach, Carol Ann Essenazi. And it is a low Scarabarrow deck. This is only like my fourth low Scarabarrow Oracle deck versus Tarot. I have a lot of Tarot. It's got the typical book. Backs are same as the Tarot. And then we got these gorgeous um, fairy tales. And the one other person I've seen with this deck recently. Um, Like, Ooh, I need to use it the way she's using it. I think it was Don Michelle. But it's stunning. One second. Okay. And it's a gorgeous little deck. And I saw it advertised like crazy. Um, I think I was the only one that got it on pre order, I feel like, because nobody talked about it when it was on pre order. And then it came out, and then nothing. Until recently, I saw, I think it was Don Michelle with this deck. And I'm like, nobody's talking about it. It's stunning. Stunning. I'm the only one I think that's talked about it. Uh, but it's a gorgeous deck. And I love it for like this dark, kind of grim fairy tale-esque deck. I had a bird right above me now. It's a stunning, stunning deck, though. Stunning. They're flying all over my, above my head. I totally just put that in upside down. So that's the second deck. And I'm just like, yeah, I never see anybody talking about it or with it or anything. It's crazy. Now, the next deck I'm going to show you, um, I know it's a Halloween deck. And I know it's not Halloween, it's spring. Um, and that could be why I haven't seen it. But I saw it like crazy when it very literally in the month of October when it came out. And then nothing. And that could be just because all, people are only using it for Halloween. But I use this quite a bit beyond that. Um, and I got in this really cool pouch to of the books in here. Because I didn't want to carry it around the box. Because I used it so much when I first got it. I carried it around with me everywhere. And that is the Trick or Treat Tarot by Barbara Moore. Illustrated by Jonathan Hunt. Um, I love this deck. It is one of my top favorite Halloween-y type decks. Um, I've used the crap out of it. I edged it in this green. I thought it'd be a lighter green than that to kind of bring out the green in the backs. Um, but as you know, green is my favorite color, so I could edge every deck I have in green. I'd be, I'd be okay with it. But there's the backs. <laughs> this deck cracks me up so hard. This is a Llewellyn publication, if I didn't say. Um, it cracks me up. It's so freaking cute. And again, it, I may only not be seeing it just because it's not that time of year. Um, if a deck calls me, it calls me. I don't care what time of year it is. Um, I know a lot of people 
out there do like spring, summer, winter, fall decks. I don't have that issue. I, whatever calls to me. If a winter deck calls to me in the middle of summer, I'm going to use it. If a more Halloween-y type deck calls to me in spring, I'm going to use it. Um, it's just whatever, whatever calls to me at that time. But this is just stunning. It just makes me laugh. It's like real people dressing up for Halloween in different costumes. And it does bring back some sense of that childhood wonder and innocence. Um, I love this chariot. Um, I love this deck. And I used it quite a bit beyond, um, I don't know why they're all upside down back there. Let's see. Oh, look at this three of cups. Gorgeous. Hanged man. It's beautiful. I don't know why they're all turned around. I think the rest of them are. Yeah, I had them all turned around. Beautiful. He's throwing up his candy. Love him. Four of Pentacles. <laughs> it's just really cute and it reads really, actually, really surprisingly well. Look at that guy, the raccoon at the bottom, stealing the swords. <laughs> uh, it's stunning and it reads amazing. Um, and that's my trick or treat tarot by Barbara Moore. Put it back in the bag. It is beautiful. And again, it may only be because of that time of year, but I couldn't put it down. Like the last, from October on, I could not put this deck down last year. So it just boggles my mind that I haven't heard anything about it in a while. Hopefully when fall starts to roll around again, we'll see it more. But yeah. Then we got... The Pastoral Tarot. I saw this advertising like crazy. Um, it's U.S. Games deck. It's a Lisa Hunt deck. It's a landscape deck. It's a gorgeous specs. I do like the cardstock. They're a little on the thick side. Um, but let's see how we do this. Is it upside down? Yeah. Okay. It is a stunning stunning deck. I love the Swaggo Cups. The milk spilled. <clears throat> the kitties running all over. It's just, it's beautiful. <laughs> um, there's nothing dark about this deck. It's very summer. Actually, that's a, yeah, it is a very summery deck to me. Um, very summer on the farm. Um, it's very beautiful. Um, and I, this is one I've gotten and I've rarely used. I don't know why. I Part of it, I think, is the cardstock because if you... It makes noise when you bend. If you go to shuffle it one way or the other. Um, same thing with another deck I'm going to show you. But it's the... I think it's it's U.S. Games. And it's a nice cardstock. It's just a little on the thick side. Um, to where it has like a bend and it makes a noise. Weird noise in the middle. Um... This deck is gorgeous, though. Stunning, stunning deck. Look at that. Gorgeous. Yeah, look at that. The detail in there, just impeccable. My favorite card in there, the Wheel of Fortune. Stunning. It's almost like a one of those beautiful puzzles. Love that. But yeah. gorgeous. There's a lot of kitty cats in this. I love it. <laughs> but I saw it advertised everywhere and then all of a sudden, the second it came out I've heard nothing. I don't think again, this is another one I don't think I've ever seen a walkthrough of. And I'm like why? It's stunning. <laughs> stunning deck. So that's four decks and we got six to go.
if you have any decks like this let me know in the comments what decks you have like this or you can do a video on it <laughs> or you, if you want to guess to see what decks I'm going to show in this video comment below um, these kind of shocked me when I started going through and I'm like oh yeah the next one transient light tarot now this was an indie deck I actually think I didn't do this in my mass market. It need turn mass market. It is turn mass market. It's a hay house deck. I bought this when a few months ago when Hay House was having a sale. Um this may have came out in 2021 too. But it was eight I bought it off in uh, Hay House itself for eight bucks. And I'm like, why? It's gorgeous. These are the backs. They actually have three a past, present, and future cards extra. It is a pip deck, but gets me in the feels. It's a thicker cardstock than the light sears, maybe. Well, maybe I'm just wearing my light sears because I haven't hardly used this one. Um, not. It's not because of anything about the deck. It's just I have so many. They all have to take turns. Uh, but this deck is insightful. It's deep for a hip deck. Um, there's a lot of symbolism in it. A lot of beauty in this deck that just gets you in the feels. I don't know why it gets me in the feels. I love the limited color palette on it. Um... I really do love this deck. I just haven't used it hardly. The Ten of Wands, beautiful. Love that magician. He's got all the tools. This devil cutting that tie, cutting that cord. Oh, just, it's stunning. And then let me see if I can find my favorite card in here. My favorite. The strength. Beautiful. And all the symbolism for a Rider Waite Smith is in here also. Which is another beautiful thing about this deck. Now look at this. Four of uh, vessels. Four cups. You can see the progression of the bad. That is uh, uh, stunning. Death card. It's beautiful. Oh, here it is. Eight of Vessels. Beautiful. But heartbreaking all at the same time. It's just, it's stunning. Stunning deck. And I just don't see it anywhere, ever. Um, it's not getting the credit the credit's due, even from me. Because I should be using this deck more. And I made a vow this year to start using more decks that I don't re have rarely used. Uh, right now, I'm currently trying to befriend the This Might Hurt because I don't like the card stock. <laughs> so this week, I've been using that. And if you if you guys want me to do a video on that, let me know because um, I did a week ahead spread on Sunday. I was like, this is the deck I'm going to use for the week even though I hate, hate, hate the card stock on the mass market version of the This Might Hurt. But... I and I was forcing myself to use it this week and let me tell you it has been crazy <laughs> so if you want me to do a video on that I will uh, yeah it's pretty nice so here's the one that I've seen other people have it is the elemental power tarot um, I actually went to Barnes & Noble one day and saw this I'm like I've not seen this anywhere and I went off of the, the sides of how beautiful those were course those are all majors and there's two majors and a the ace and didn't realize it's also a pip deck and the cardstock sucks but the book worth every $15 I paid for this deck at Barnes and Noble cards are bigger like cardboard um it's a pip deck full on pip deck but the majors in this deck worth every penny it is a stunning stunning deck if you're wanting just a major 
deck. This is a cheap enough deck you could use it just as majors. I usually do. Because I have enough pep decks. I don't have any only major major only decks. And I use this one a lot for that. Uh, it is so beautiful. I'm some more pentacles. Got an ant crawling on me. High Priestess. Uh, the Tower. And the new Tarot of Tales that came out this year is also the same creator. Melinda Lee Home. Um, there's a, the Tower in that. Looks like a close-up version of this card. It's pretty cool. It's kind of a nod to this deck and that deck. That devil card. Stunning. And then this world card. Gorgeous. And then this temperance card. <laughs> Serene. And then this hermit. Oh. Yeah, the, the majors in this. And then this fool. Little puppy there. And then the hangman. Everything is upside down. And of course it's got mushrooms, which I love. I love mushrooms. But, yeah. That is the Elemental Power Tarot on the sun. I love it. I love this, if nothing else, for the majors. Um, it is a stunning deck. Despite the cardstock, despite how big they are, despite it being a, a pip deck, stunning. Worth every penny. <clears throat> and the book. So that's the Elemental Power Tarot, and that is by Seiko Books. Kiko books, however you say it. Four decks left. We got, just came out this year, the Luna, Ethereal Visions Tarot Luna Edition. It is published by U.S. Games. We all know what the Ethereal Visions Tarot looks like. Love the program inside here. And I'm mainly, I mean, this is so new that it could probably not be in this, um, because people haven't had a chance to really get to know it yet, but it's got the bling, silvery bling on it. And again, it's one of those that was everywhere. Everybody saw it. Everybody wanted it. Everybody had to have it. And then nothing. And I don't get it because it is so freaking beautiful. The bling is not coming up on my camera here, but every card has bling on it. I see, yeah, bling, and it's so freaking beautiful. I use this quite often. If you want, I love his, got the mask on his face. And look at the background there. Mm, that tower card, stunning. My camera does not do this deck justice, but it is stunning. If you want a regular, even despite the fact that it's blingy, if you want just a straightforward regular reader, it's not RWS, but it is. This is it. Um, it's cheap enough, and it's beautiful. 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 Look at this star card. Wow. Stunning. She got the crystal ball in her hand. Or a star. Sorry. I love this Queen of Cups with the green hair and the crown. Ugh. Gorgeous. But she is beautiful. This deck. And I just... Again, it's another one. I don't even think I've seen a walkthrough. Except my own. <laughs> It's stunning. Again, it's one of those that as soon as it came out, it just, it's like it ceased to exist. Which, shocking because it is so beautiful. If they had never came out with this edition, I would have never got this deck. Because I don't like the original version. But this Luna version is stunning. I love purple. It's my, actually, my second favorite color, dark purple. My first, of course, being dark green. So next we have... The mystical medleys and this is the by luminal lovin comes with the opening magnetic box here slides out the bottom i've talked about this deck a lot 
but I'm the only person I've seen talk about this deck. Um, it's a hardback book. It is my deck I use for, um, is that right there? Um, that's the books. And it's, I love the cardstock. Um, this is the cardstock I wish the new This Might Hurt was on. This, it feels a little cardboardy, but I know it's going to shuffle and it's not going to hurt my hands. Um, <laughs> um, it is basically a cartoon deck, and but it also hits home pretty hard sometimes. I have quite a few cards in here I resonate with on a dark level, on a deeper, more twisted version of like, oh, we may be a cartoon deck, but we're going to be harsh. I'm trying to find one. And we have a sad squirrel and a happy squirrel in here also. So extra cards, yay. But I found this is the deck I use for my childhood trauma deck. Um, because I need something serious, but it's not going to look so confronting. Um, and this is exactly what this deck does for me. It's serious without looking confronting. Without looking like it's too serious. And then once you're in it, you're like, oh, yeah. It's stunning. <laughs> I love it. Two pieces. Some people can't get past the like the buildings having eyes and things like that. But I just make it I think it makes it funnier. Look at this one. With this five of cups, he's looking in the mirror like seriously? He's li literally examining what's wrong with him. <laughs> like, come on. It's a beautiful deck. I'm trying to find any of the cards I've talked about before. Okay, Five of Wands right here. This is how I see the Five of Wands, where you're, you're only juggling yourself. You're only fighting yourself here. Um, and that's how I see this card. Where is she at? My ladybug. Look at this guy. Ace of Swords. Like, he's been through the ringer. <laughs> mm. This Nine of Wands, even though it's... He's not beat up or anything. Usually the Nine of Wands, I see it as a card of, um, he's been through the trials and tribulations. And he's just starting to come out on the other side of it. And he, even here, it's giving him a direction, telling him, you might want to go this way instead of continuing on in this hell you've been in. And I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. trying to find her. Maybe I already passed her. Mm, now we got kids screaming over there. Yeah. <sighs> this is the guy. The Nine of Swords with the nightmares. Even the bed's crying like, I'm scared. There's the happy squirrel. Here she is, Eight of Swords. One of my favorite cards in any deck is the Eight of Swords. I typically look for the Eight of Swords in a deck. This one, though, was very confronting in a way that um, I would normally use to describe myself in the Eight of Swords. As you know, if you've watched my channel for any period of time, um, the first card I ever resonated with in the tarot was the Eight of Swords in the regular Rider Waite Smith. <laughs> And when I got this deck, and I, I because I, and then I got the Light Seers, and I was like, that's me. Um, I realized I had been stalking the Eight of Swords, and the reason being because I was still seeing myself as this person trapped with no options, no place to go, blind to what was really happening. And I'm like, oh my God, the light bulb went off, and I'm like, this is why I'm stalking this card, because I'm trying to figure out why I'm so attracted to it. It's because I saw myself in the Eight of Swords. And this one takes it to a whole other level. It's like she's surrounded by the swords. 
and she's trapped. And at this point, she's gotten comfortable in that position. She's got her blinders on. She's got her, she looks like she's in a sleeping bag. Cause she's a worm or something, obviously. But it's almost like she's gotten comfortable in this state. And I'm like, yes, that has been me for many, many years. And I didn't realize that until I started reading tarot. <laughs> that I got comfortable in the uncomfortableness of it all. And I'm like, that blew my mind. And then that is what endeared this deck to me for child shadow work. Um, I just, it's very underrated, I think. I think a lot of people underrate this deck because of all the things that look like they're alive in there, but I think that's what makes it beautiful because you don't expect it. And then you're like, ah, oh, you just slapped me across the face with this childhood trauma that just popped up out of nowhere. That's why I love this deck. The Mystical Medleys by Liminal Eleven. It is... Uh, doesn't say who did it. Anyway, but yeah. So we are down to two. Let me take a drink again. We got an Oracle and a Carol left. So the Oracle, and I saw this a lot when it first came out, and then nothing. It is the Sacred Force Oracle by Denise Lynn. I have quite a few, few of her Oracle decks. This one I used relentlessly when I first got it, and then it's just kind of, because usually I will use my Destiny Oracle, Sacred Destiny Oracle of hers, which is one of my top five favorite Oracle decks, well, top ten. Um, it is published by Hay House. It's a stunning deck. And I rarely see it anymore, and I'm like, why? <laughs> why? It's stunning. There's the backs. It is a stunning, stunning deck. It's one of my more happier, upbeat kind of decks, which is probably why I don't reach for it as often as I should, because I'm more into the moody decks. <laughs> I'm into more moody decks, but it's stunning, stunning. I love the little fairies in it. I, love, I just, it's beautiful, and I have hardly used it. since, let's say I used it a good couple, two, three months when I first got it, and I haven't really used it since. And I think this is the one that came out 2021. Well, I know this one came out in 2021, so this is one of the older decks of the stuff I've got sitting here. But look at, I mean, look at that. Just stunning. And as I go through, um, because I so here's how I think it goes. So when you first get into tarot, you're like, ooh, and you dive in and you want to buy this deck and this deck and this deck. And before you know it, you have tons of decks, which is where I'm at now. <laughs> I have a crap ton of decks. Um, and you can only use so many in a year. And so some may go to the wayside. But um, like I said, this year is the year I made for my um, decks I have used in a while or haven't hardly used at all. Um, to make sure I use them. And, uh, it's gone crazy. <laughs> it's gotten very interesting. It's caused me to dive deeper into tarot than I ever have before, which was the point of doing that this year. And it's just, it's been beautiful. Um, yeah. So, we're on to the last deck. So, I made a pouch for this. I watched, and I'll post her channel if I remember somebody do a bag tarot bag like this with this stitch i think it's called the lemon peel or something else stitch but i took it a step further because she just made it like a regular bag like that i made it a longer thing so that's uh um that's basically a reading cloth and then this is just the string that ties on ties around it um and then we got the deck in here this is the lorenzi tarot by U.S. Games. This is the other deck that has kind of that bow. Makes a noise when you go to shuffle it. I don't like it. It is a little thinner than the um, Pastoral Tarot even, but it's still thick. Um, this is one of my favorite hermits ever. Gorgeous. I talked about this deck quite a bit when I first got it. I think it came out in like September, October also um, of 2022. 
but I saw this advertised everywhere, and then all of a sudden it came out and no one's talked about it. Again, another deck I don't think I've ever seen a walkthrough of this deck. Um, it is weird and strange. It is very dreamlike. It is right up my alley. <laughs> and I see this deck as one that is um, shrouded in mystery in that I almost feel like this is a glimpse behind the curtain, if you will. Like, you're seeing things, animals, people being created in this deck. This is the time before time, this deck. It's like, like here, she's, you see her, this is a, the Justice card. It almost like they're working, they're literally putting her heart in her chest. And she's not yet quite animated. Look at this fool, he is stunning. And again, we have this... He's got these horns or antlers or branches coming out of it. Like part of him is branches and his fingers are kind of like branches too. And then we got a bird landing in it. Almost like this being was created and then he didn't make it down to earth is what I'm saying. It's like all these creatures, look at that one, were made and not all of them were up to par or up to snuff to make it to earth. And that's how I feel about this deck is we're seeing something happening here. A creation happening or a mistake of creation happening. And it just it boggles my mind. It's almost like the Wizard of Oz where you finally get to peek behind the curtain. This is what we're seeing in this deck. Like here where you're seeing half woman, half zebra. Um, clearly those don't exist, but... You see them being made like, oh, this kind of didn't work. And then there's one in here. There's a lot of snakes in the wands, too. I don't get the snakes at all. And a lot of them are ripped up and shredded, almost like they're, the snake DNA is being used somehow to create these other beings. It's weird. I love this strength card. It's almost like you can, you can see that they're, she's under construction. It's crazy, crazy crazy <laughs> and that's how I feel about this deck it's very ethereal very dreamlike to me this one it's almost like she was animated and started walking before she was fully put together like pieces of her in the water um it's just and then here we've got the little turtle in the bubble it's almost like oh well this is a part of creation that works so we're gonna preserve it in this bubble till we can get it down there to the earth's surface. That's how I feel about that's always how I felt about this deck. It's very weird, very strange, but and look, here's a perfect little bird in the bubble again. Like all the things that you would see in the world today are in bubbles in this deck. Which even more confirms for me my thoughts and process. I've not actually read the book. <laughs> um, I have used this deck quite a bit. Um, oh, look at that moth. Beautiful. Um, look at the elephant with ears. See, the butterfly ear wings. I, it's almost like, oh yeah, this isn't going to work. So, they scrapped it or whatever. But you see it in this deck being made. Look at this lion. Craziness. Um, yeah, it's a piranha. It's beautiful. Oh, look at this. Of course, one of the worst snake cards in the deck falls face up on the ground <laughs> look at that Ugh. despite the inordinate amount of snakes in this deck i love it queen of cups beautiful look at her head stunning <laughs> i'm this is another deck that maybe i should uh do a, a tag that's like deep dive decks because this is one since I've got, I've wanted to do a deep dive. And I keep saying, oh, it's coming, it's coming, and it's not happened yet. Partly because I just keep getting more decks that are stunning and I use them and whatever. Um, but yeah, and then I, I made this little pouch here for it. Because I didn't want to carry it around with the big book and the big box. But that deck is awesome. Again, all of these decks I saw... And then it went. And it's just like, what's happening? <laughs> um, 
I got them. They're beautiful. I've worked with most of them on a regular. The only one I think that I haven't actually worked with more than a couple weeks is the Baroque Tarot. And I think that's because it's an indie deck. It was not cheap. It's super fabulous looking. Super gilded and all that. And I'm just afraid I'm going to screw the, the deck up. Um, that's why I haven't used it. I, I tend to do that with my indie decks. So I need to get over that because I have so many indie decks that are gorgeous. And I'm just like, oh, I need it. Uh, but that is all my, that's 10 for now. I might do another video like this later on down the road. Because I have a few now that I'm like, oh, I haven't used you in a while. Mm. But these are decks that I clearly used at some point. Um, I haven't used them in a minute. But I used them quite a bit when I first got them or whatever. Um, and But I only saw them when they were being advertised and then nothing pretty much except for maybe one or two in this and that wasn't for very long um if you guys have any of these decks let me know if you use them on a regular let me know you let me know if you use them got rid of them whatever let me know in the comments below if you had any of these or used them or whatever um i'd be super curious to find out who's using these decks <laughs> because i feel like i'm the only one <laughs> Except for one or two that I just recently saw again that other people I know have. I don't know that anybody has any of these decks. And I love that idea. But I feel like you're missing out. <laughs> because they're stunning decks. And they're all amazing readers. And they're beautiful. So yeah, that's my video. If you have this, like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button. So you're loaded to any future videos. And... You guys have a good night. Bye.